Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers, and this is going to be from the 2nd to the 8th of July. I'm having some technical dis... I don't know why I can't say this word today. Every time I want to say dish instead of issues. I'm having some technical issues. So, you know, I only have a limited time on here, so I'm going to try to get the reading in for my cancers. I love all you guys, okay? All you guys all over the world, I thank you so very much for being so very patient with me. So here we go. Oh my goodness, my YouTube, oh, darlings, I love you. I love you so much. This is for you guys, all of you, all, and I thank you so very much. And hopefully, by tomorrow, my issues will be fixed <laughs> but let's do this this way so I can get my message to you so let's see cancer The Knight of Wands. Something coming in kind of passionately. The Queen of Wands. This could be a fire energy. This could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. The Ten of Wands. Got some extra responsibilities. But you're still moving. See? You still don't matter. You're still moving. You got a lot on your plate. You got some extra stuff on your plate, but you're still moving. You don't give up. The Queen of Swords. This could be an air energy in your environment. This could be a... Now, with the Queen of Wands, if that's not you, it could be that you just found your self-esteem and your courage. Now, with the Queen of Swords, you might be thinking of communicating with someone. Or this could be an energy in your environment. A Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And then, oh my goodness, you got the Queen of Cups here, too. So, this communication you're thinking about getting you a little... Um, feel, making you feel sen a little sensitive. What's going on? Think about it then before you communicate with the person, okay? And, but in case that's not the case, this could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Like you, darling. It could be you, Cancer. And then, Five of Pentacles. What's going on, Cancer? Why do you feel like you don't have? Remember, this is the mindset of lack, okay? It's temporary. It's not going to last a long time. There's going to be a shift in your environment. The Knight of Swords. You're going to go within and you're going to light your way. <laughs> the Hermit. The Justice card. Feeling balanced. If you're going through something legal, it will probably come out in your um, favor. Whatever the decision will be, it will be fair and balanced. It'll be fair all across the board. So let's see here. So let's see the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. So let's see. So we got the Eight of Cups. Ooh, whatever's coming in is making you think of walking away. The Emperor, respect and leadership and stability. And the Five of Wands. There's going to be some kind of conflict or there was some kind of conflict in your environment that made you feel like walking away. Might have been with the Queen of Wands here. Fire energy and Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. On top of the Queen of Wands comes the Seven of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Eight of Wands. You're going to have clarity pretty soon. I think you just found your, um, your self-esteem and your um, confidence back. You planted some kind of seed and you're watching it grow. And you're starting to see things clearly. That's how I'm going to put that. And that's coming pretty fast for you. So, that was the Eight of Wands. Some kind of action. Something's coming towards you with great speed. And it was a new beginning. Although you got some extra responsibilities here, there's a new beginning waiting for you. So, don't you forget that. And the Eight of Pentacles, you're working really hard on something. I mean, you it's your passion, whatever it is that you're working on. And then you got the Two of Swords. You need to, you're going to have to make a decision, okay? You're going to need to make a decision about something. Maybe about the communication. Maybe about the communication. I'm not sure. 
that's it's something like i said this five of pentacles is temporary so on top of the queen of swords you got the three of swords you got the world and you got the six of swords so i do see that you did have a broken heart and maybe someone else was involved in that relationship something happened somewhere but whatever it was it didn't hold you down too long because i do see the world here and on top of the world you got the six of swords i'm saying that you achieved whatever it was you accomplished everything that you need to accomplish after this breakup or after this broken heart and you were going to move yourself. Your environment started to become calmer or you move to a calmer environment. So this is the Three of Swords, the World card, and the Six of Swords on top of the Queen of Swords. So, and then the Queen of Cups, which would be you, Cancer. So, let's see. You got the you got a little um, mindset of lack right now, but you're going to have clarity. I got the Ace of Swords. You're going to have some um, some new um, information or something that's going to give you some clarity. You got the Wheel of Fortune on your side. This is karmic good luck. Just trust yourself. Now, remember, the Wheel of Fortune moves forward, but even though it is moving forward, there's still some bumps in the road. If you hit a bump, don't stay in that bump too long. You come out of that bump and you got the strength card. So you are going to find your inner strength, darlings. You hear me? You will find your inner strength. And this five of pentacles mindset, this is going to go. You got the chariot. You're going to overcome your obstacles, baby. You got the nine of pentacles and you got the knight of pentacles. So you got the chariot, the nine of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. I need to have, I need to start speaking probably a little bit clearer. Ah. <sighs> But sometimes I get so excited. But anyway, so the chariot, you're going to overcome your obstacles. You're going to start seeing your rewards. So this, like I told you, this five of pentacles is just temporary. It's temporary. You're going to start seeing some money coming in. You've been working pretty hard. So don't you worry about that. It's coming. You got a routine done. That's the knight of pentacles. Okay. And then the knight of swords. Things are going to shift in your environment. The six of cups. Something happy. Some happy memories you're going to be having. And maybe you might meet up with some old friends or something. And have a little celebration. A little get together. Because I got the three of cups here. And then the queen of swords. Might be with some air energy here. Gemini. A Libra or an Aquarius, uh, energy in your environment. She's telling you to make judgments without emotion. Take inventory of all of the facts before making a decision. So that's what the Queen of Swords could be telling you as well. So on top of the Hermit, we got the Page of Cups, we got the Five of Swords, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So the Page of Cups is about creative opportunities, maybe proposals, you never know. And the Five of Swords is about arguments. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to take the higher road and we're not going to argue. Okay, we're not going to argue back. We're going to leave it let it be. Because it takes two to argue. One person alone, they can just talk and talk and talk. Just ooh, tune them out. And the Ten of Pentacles, you're coming into some money, okay? So that little lack of mind, that lack mindset is going to be gone. You just got to go with them. You got to find yourself with love. Just go. And the Justice card, you're going to find balance, babies. Yes, you will. You got the Five of Pentacles here. You need to get out of your head. I told you it's just temporary. Take a breath, baby. Come on now. We can do this. You got the king, the knight of cups as well. So something romantic coming towards you and the two of cups. So even though you had a broken heart or whatever happened, and you had the mindset of lack where love and finances are concerned, you see all these things are turning around. Nothing lasts forever. It depends on you and how much you believe in yourself, how much you love yourself, how much you love others, how much healing you've done. But you will see things can change. I'm telling you that you can look at life with a whole new perspective. You know, so we got the five of pentacles, we got the knight of cups, and we got the two of cups. That's unified love. There's something coming your way, darling. You do have a little lack mindset. Just go and visit that part. Why are you feeling that way? And try and pinpoint why you're feeling that way. That way you can focus on it and heal that part. Maybe that'll start you off. Never know. Get a journal and write things down. What harm will it do? Make you feel better? Think about it. I love you. You take care of yourselves. And I will chat with you soon.